yeah in workflows we have like an subflows uh, activity as well so uh, if you want to create any other subflows for this workflow okay you can go ahead with the parallel flow launcher okay this is what we are not uh, going to use this very frequently next one task so here uh, you can generate the attachment node or else catalog task okay create task and all okay this is one of the core activity and then timers you can set the timers as well and then you can go for the utilities so utilities is nothing but one of the uh, here uh, we have like a branch join log log message all the things so mostly they might ask about the trunk trail so this is one of the interview question trunk trail is nothing but how many workflows are going through the uh, I mean how many workflows are going through actually okay for let's say example how many uh, request was created generated okay based on the request how many requests generated that kind of workflow will be like um, flow right the flow will be according to the request all these things so this will count how many flows was done okay so all these things about the core activities okay uh, so now we are going to create one new workflow and we'll show you the functionality of the workflow okay uh, uh, Kiran, so, I have a question here. yes uh, sorry but and it is very important to understand that sir asking mm -hmm. so we will uh, first create uh, like a, a catalog item and then create a workflow for it or we will create a catalog uh, workflow and then create a catalog item yeah you can do anything as well based on your requirement but the thing is like the best thing is uh, you, you need to create the catalog item first and need to attach the second okay if you if you create the workflow first okay so what we need to do we need to attach this workflow to the catalog item right so if the catalog item is not available so we need we need to wait for the some time and need to create the catalog item and again need to attach this o in the catalog item so the best practice is like first create the catalog item then workflow okay yeah so uh, doing this and the uh, separately is also fine actually but anyhow we you need to attach with the catalog item right so if you have catalog item already it is very easy for us to attach immediately after uh, doing the workflow okay clear right Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay then. So let's get started uh, building the workflow actually. So here I have like a new workflow, right? So just click on the new workflow. Okay, here I need to give the workflow name and then what is the table on which table you are going to work on this workflow. Okay, so now I just need to, uh, what name I can give here. So just simply workflow testing. Okay. I have given workflow testing as a name actually. This is Yavish actually. Uh, based on our requirement, we are going to name this uh, workflow. Okay, so here I'm going to give like an S request item. Okay, SC underscore. Why I'm giving request item? Uh, because uh, the catalog item, you know, everything, whenever we are, we are getting the request, okay, whenever I order something from the portal, okay, then I need to generate the RATMs. Okay, for each RATM, approvals should be generated, a notification should be triggered, okay, and a later task should be generated. All these things will be interlinked. So I need to work on a request item see here request item backend value is like sc underscore request underscore item okay just select that now if you want to give description about a uh, workflow why you're going to create this workflow and all okay you can give it uh, over here okay uh, stay stage rendering is nothing but so we can go for one by one main workflow process bar request item render okay all these things we can go ahead so basically what we used to do is like for so default a uh, workflow driver only we are going to do okay stage order is nothing but computed so we are going to compute this one automate this one okay so this is what the information which you're going to give nothing but name is the which you prefer and the table is like sc underscore request underscore item which is nothing but a request item okay this is what already uh, we have already these things okay next submit this so now what i did i just given the workflow name and the table see now i got like a begin and end okay so i have begin the workflow and later i went to the end this is for the default thing which we are going to get it so uh, we are going to implement in between lot of the activities so what i'll do just click on the transaction and delete it okay so keep this uh the end of the thing okay before that i just need to explain this 
options as well okay so even here we can create new workflow option okay and then if, we, if you want to open any of the existing uh, workflow just click on open existing and you can uh, open any of the workflow which is already there Okay. If you want to copy this workflow, let's say example, I have already developed like in 10 to 15 activities I have added over here. Okay, only little changes. I just need to make changes and I need to create one new workflow. Then what I'll do, I'll copy this one and I'll paste it over in another new tab. And then that I can go into choose and I can modify only the few changes and I can publish it. Okay, and publish is nothing but which you're going to save it uh, something. It's like a uh, workflow. Okay, save is nothing but here you're going to submit, right? So let me show you. So if something like if, if you're going to give the information any of the activity, okay. So here we have like an ad, sub, submit or update will be there. Okay, submit when you'll get when you create a new one, then submit will be there. If it is like an already created, then uh, update will be there. So this is a, a kind of a storing into the database. And the publish is nothing but you're going to activate the thing activate the workflow okay activating workflow is nothing but just click on the publish okay then after publishing you can ed cannot edit the workflow over here any of the activity you cannot do anything okay next one so if you want to delete the workflow then you can delete over here okay if you want to edit the stages okay you can edit uh, uh, over here okay if you want to edit the catalog variable so if you are go if you're going to uh, create the stages or catalog variables you can edit those things as well okay if you want to set inactive okay so basically for remaining and all we have like a checkbox right if you want to inactive some any of the record or else any of the business tool or else the data policy something or what we do we have like an active one field over there and we need to check it check it it's like and we need to remove the checkbox okay then what will happen that specific thing is like an inactive got it right what i'm trying trying to to tell you i'll show you so uh, if something is like uh you know where can i go you have also Okay, wherever it might be for all the things it will be there actually. So if we are aware of the inactive, how to inactive the things and how to see here, we have like an active over here. Okay, so if you want to inactive this one, what we are going to do uh, before what we did, uh, what I did. So here we have like an active option over here. Okay, if I check over here, okay, then what will happen? This is like an active, this uh, specific functionality which I have written here. Okay, that will get executed. Okay, if it is like inactive, what will happen? This won't get executed, if whatever it might be. It's like a switch and switch off and on. I, I told you before, right? This is what uh, we have in workflow in this manner, inactive. Okay, you can inactive this one. Okay, if you want to expand transactions, click on here and you can expand the transactions. Okay, if you want to validate the workflow, let's say example, I have requested, it's like an, I have ordered one laptop. Okay, the flow is going in this manner. Okay, if appro approval is not rejected or else if you have, if approvals is like a um, approved, okay, something is like the flow will be there, right? So if you want to see this, uh, that's kind of validations, workflow validations, you can go ahead for this and you can check it. Okay, show context. So context is nothing but you are going to uh, check how many workflows are there based on this thing. Okay, next. Properties. So you can go for the properties and you can change the properties as well. And workflow canvas help. If you want any help from this uh, canvas point of view, you can use this workflow canvas help. Okay, these are the options which is available in a internal point of view workflow creation internally okay now so let's get started with one by one activity so now what i just need to do i uh, the requirement is like whenever this is what i need to show you actually whenever a catalog item got created okay then what i just need to do uh, show you is like so catalog item is created so automatically request will be generated right so yesterday i showed you so after creating one request is like generated and after that i need to create the ratm so here from here we are going to start on okay in workflow okay what i'll do i'll go down so from ratm so which table i have given in the begin ratm right so from ratm i'm going to trigger the approvals okay if it is like a uh, approved I'm, I'm going to create the sc task if it is like not approved okay so uh, I'm going to eliminate this one. So I'm going to send the notification for that as well. I'm going to end the process. Okay, the next thing is like after upload. Okay, then I'm going to send the notification in the middle of the thing. 
notifications so i'm just telling that uh, the specific task which you have created okay that is approved by and so on so on person okay that that is what will be available in a notification okay and then after notification was sent it is approved i'm going to create the sc task over there okay finally the service provider team will work on the sc task and will close the request okay this is the flow which i'm going to show you now okay ratms and later approvals okay so here in the core items i have like an approval right see so in approval what i'm going to do is like i'm taking the group approval over here okay you can take individual approval as well it's like an approval user or something okay so taking from here is nothing but just click on the uh mouse uh, right button okay just click on that one and drag it that's it just like a dragging something and putting over here that's it okay so now here it's like an approval group so in approval group what i'm going to do is like a name it's like an i'm giving like an approval group same thing okay uh, what is the stage which i'm going to give is like waiting for approval so it is like uh, if something is after creating the request what it should be like waiting for approval only right so after that it is like and we should be like approved or else rejected okay based on the approval and rejected you're going to send the notifications if it is like approved i'm going to give the sc task okay i mean i'm going to create the sc task not giving actually so here uh, we have like a magnifying uh, glass okay just click on the waiting for approval it's like a very bit easy actually just uh, focus on the flow that's it okay if you practice from your end okay it will be like very easy so for starting starting it will be like very clumsy and very complicated as well while uh, listening all these things and uh, seeing all kind of activities and all flows okay so it, it might be like a feel, it might take some time as well to understand so what i'm doing is like i'm not taking the total kind of full-fledged requirement internally all the scripting point of view i'm not giving all the things a simple requirement i'm showing you to it so that only you can understand as a beginner right now so uh, what i gave is like the stage is like waiting for approval okay now uh, here if you want the conditions over here you can give conditions over here okay if i go down okay see here approvals who might be the approvals okay you can go and uh, you even you can give any of the approvals as well so who is going to approve this one okay so i'm going to give any of the yeah any of the group over here okay now the persons who is available in the demo group okay why i have given group here because i selected like an approval group activity over here okay so who and all the users available in the demo group okay so they can access this uh, kind of thing and then they can approve the request okay so if you click on the advanced over here okay we will get in scripting point of view as well so see id so id one is nothing but so here you can give the group id sys ids of a group you know about the sys ids right sys id is an unique value which you are going to provide in a scripting point of view so sys id is a unique value that value should, uh, will not match to any other value in the service now instance okay so if you give any of the group values over here let's say example in here i have given like a manual selection right so here i can give the society over here okay and that will be work out now the next thing is like you can go for this as well so this approval should go based on the time zone as well okay you can schedule this as well okay based on your requirement you, you are going to do uh, you, you you are going to confirm it's like an, you are going to configure all these things and all okay now so condition for approval so this is a bit important here just focus on this actually so condition for approval is nothing but so here wait for see if i click on here an approval from each group an approval from any group an approval from everyone in all groups okay here you're going to give the conditions over here okay so let's say example uh, here i have given like a demo group okay so let uh, there is uh, like an all the possibilities of the things so everyone should uh, uh, approve the request or else any of the group member can approve the request or else only few of the people can approve this request or only the few candidates can approve the request okay this kind of possible and possibilities and all we have over here okay based on the thing we can go ahead so but uh, as um, very frequently in our service now we are going to use this any approval from each group okay or else you can go ahead with any, any approval for any group okay an approval from everyone in all groups 
okay based on nothing you can go ahead okay as of now i'm giving like an unapproval from age group next the second thing is like when anyone rejects so unapproval uh, this is what i have given the condition over here and for rejection okay reject the approval okay wait for the other response being de deciding okay so if something like uh, rejected okay then that will be like rejected only okay if i select this one okay so now i'm done with the conditions as well okay i'm going to submit this one see now one activity creation is done see so let me drag this over here to there so one second it's not listening my words yeah see here so i have dragged this one so i'm going to connect this from here to there okay the first connection is nothing but i have created one uh, workflow with name and table okay whenever uh, rtm is generated then it will go to the workflow activity internally we have like an approve and reject right we have given the condition now our red right approve and reject okay now the thing is like what will happen when a user is approved okay when the request is like approved what will happen when the thing is like rejected okay this is what we are going to do now the first activity which we done is like an approvals okay a group approvals which we have done okay now what we are going to to do is like if that specific request is like approved okay i need to get it from a i need to set the value over here okay to setting the values over here what i just need to do is like i have like in one minute actually so here we are going to set the values actually so x is equal to something value okay we need to drag that one okay i need to set that our core activities this is what right if condition wait for condition notifications is like something different service catalog subflows yeah see here in utilities actually so in utilities we have like an x is equal to set values okay so what we are doing so if something like request is like created okay then what we are going if if created and after it is like approved then we are going to set the values over here so values is nothing but that specific rtm state is like approved okay in that manner we are going to set this actually in utilities okay we have like an x is equal to set value drag that and keep it over here okay now we are going to set the values here so uh, what is uh, what we are going to give is like approval approved okay if uh, any of the approval okay approved then this should be triggered see after approved when it is like an approved okay what we are going to do request approved okay this is what the stage which you are going to give over here okay uh, what i just need to show you is nothing but so when it is like approved okay this activity should get run okay now so what we are going to give in the set these values is nothing but so set these values so choose here approval okay approval is approved so this is the condition which you are going to give over here so see here so this is very simple actually get this on the util utilities so here we have like an x is equal to set value why i'm using x is equal to set value is nothing but whenever the specific group approval is going to approved okay any of the user was approved okay was approved the specific record okay or a specific ratm then this should be triggered we are going to set the value the stage is nothing but approved see here approved okay just submit after submitting what will happen so this x is equal to set value is like generated okay now i'm going to link this to upload okay now what will happen whenever the ratm got generated this will be when go will go for the upload okay when it is upload we are going to set the value as upload got it right then if it is rejects what happen okay get the same x is equal to set value 
okay the same thing but the condition will change over here actually that's it so rejected approval rejected okay the stage is nothing but we have like an reject so you if you want to give reject or something here we don't have reject right just leave it actually so before in down you have like an set these values so you see here here we are going to give like an approval rejected See, we have like and rejected. So uh, this is what we are going to link with the rejection point of view. What I did before for approved. So this thing I linked with this one, right? So for rejected, I'm going to link this to this is what. So now done, right? So whenever RA team got generated, we are going for the approvals. If I'm the user, okay, I'm the manager. I need to approve something, okay. If I approve, it will. I'm going to set this uh, RA team to approve condition, okay, approve state. And then if it is rejected, I'm going to set the condition to rejected as well, okay. Now uh, if it is like an approved, okay, what I need to do is like I need to get the catalog it's like i need to create the catalog task okay catalog task i need to create the catalog task here okay so let me close this let me close this as well so see here in task okay i have like a catalog task drag this and keep it over here okay so in catalog task what i'm going to do is like i'm going to create one catalog item so see here uh, the flow which you have done we have discussed is like whenever ritm is like approved okay so in between i'm going to create the notifications as well don't worry i'll tell you that okay we are going to send to create the sa task okay so now so create task Okay, we are going to create that task over here. Okay, the stage which you are going to give is nothing but fulfillment. So why we are going to give the fulfillment is nothing but so in the catalog task only we are going to work on we are going to fulfill the order. Okay, so that is a, that is why we are going to give the fulfillment over there. See here task table automatically we got like an SC task. Okay, priority if you want to go for the priority you can go ahead with all, all these things as well. Okay, so uh, I'm going for the high as of now. Okay, so now wait for completion is nothing but so here we have like in wait for completion. So whenever uh, any SC task is generated, okay, it will wait for the completion actually or else no, it won't wait for the thing. Now let me go down popular task variables. So in popular task variables, we have like a task um, value form. So we are going to give the fields only, not the templates and not the values over here. Okay, fulfillment group, we can go for the, any of the group which we have, uh, which we need actually. So as of now, I'm going for the demo group. Okay, and then assign to, if you want to assign something, okay, you can assign that uh, specific um, person as well okay the short description is nothing but you can give any of the task it's like in any of the thing okay create a c task okay if you want to give any instructions over here you can give that as well and this task will be uh, it's like and here you see here we have like in popular task variables as well this is what we done now if i go here okay the same thing which is available in a before so you can schedule over here okay in approvals we have this one right you can schedule the uh, the specific task should be generated or all these things you can do it as well okay so in task form you can select few uh, fields as well so what and all the things which you need okay you can go ahead and you can select the things as as well okay so this is what we are not uh, going to use based on our requirement just submit it okay what i did now so after when this is like an upload okay i'm going to send the notification so now uh, i will create one notification over here okay and i will link to this too. okay let me drag that notification over here okay so now so already i have like an I have created a C task going SC task activity. Okay, before that, before creating the SC task, I need to send a notification to specific users actually. Okay. For that, what I'm doing is like uh, trigger notification. I'm giving the notif uh, name. Okay, and uh, the stage is nothing but uh, no need to give the stage actually because this is a notification thing, right? So no need to give this thing. Okay, if I go down. So to whom it should be triggered? Who to is that a group or else is it any of the uh, users or else is that you need to give the scripting over here? Okay, by giving the society values and all. Okay, as of now I am giving only 
one group over here. Okay, so we'll select any of the group. The same thing, uh, I'll go for it. Demo group. Okay, click on this. Let me go down. Okay, so see here, uh, this is the uh, thing which we are going to display to the end user. Okay, this is for the subject. So this is a notification, right? So what and all the information which you are going to display. Okay, or else you need to send the ex end user or, or else who is going to um, see the notification. Okay, so this is what I'm going to give actually. So what I'm going doing is like you are request. So here we have like an uh, variables, right? So just select any of the variable over here. Request or something, any of the value. Mm. Request number. See, I have like a request. Okay, now what will happen? A request number will be come out. So I'll use here your request is approved if it is like approved it is like an approved if it is rejected it will be like a rejected okay now in message i can mention any of the information as well to the end user so it should be like an um some format right hi your request is approved okay and below are the details for your request or else below and below are the details of your order or request something so catalog item now it's like an uh, order only right so here i can go for the request as well again i can give the request okay so giving the request number over there and then i can give the additional comments over there whatever the uh, uh, fields which he need okay so i can give the comments work notes Okay, what and all, what, what else? Uh, based on my requirement, I can go ahead actually. So I'll go for the description as well. Okay, I, I'll go for the assignment or else assign to person who is working on the ticket. Okay, this information which I'm going to give over here. Okay, see here, so automatically the request, okay, uh, the comments and all uh, was already populated. So these are the informations which uh, information which I'm going to give him okay thanks it's not him okay so this is the thing uh, he is going to get the notification in his alerts okay so we'll go back and submit it now I have created one notification here. So if it is like approved, okay, I need to get to send the notification. Okay, now here I have given only the approved thing, right? Not the rejected thing. Okay, the content and all. If you want to send even for the reject also, you can create another uh, notification over here and you can send it. Okay, next after sending the notification, I need to generate the catalog task. Okay, now we are done with this one. Okay, finally. Or else, uh, as for time being, what I'll do is like I'm linking this as well. Okay, now we have like an end as well. Okay, uh, if it is like an uh, catalog, gen catalog is like generated. Okay, I'm going to end the thing. Okay, after sending a notification, also I can end this one. Or else, you know, after uh, let if if I delete this one, okay, notification. Okay, so if it's like rejected, I can end this as well. Okay, so let me move this up. Let me remove this. Okay, this is what the flow. Okay, let me arrange this in a one way and I will explain you again. So we are done with creating the workflow now. Okay, so now uh, let me drag this here. Yeah, now we are done with the creation of the workflow. So see here, what is the flow which we have created uh, as of now? So let me cross check here over here. Okay, so RATM is created and later approvals. Okay, here we are going to set the RATM is created and later what we did is like approvals. Okay, when it is uh, approved, okay, we are going to set the value as approved. Okay, if it is like rejected, we are going to set the value as 
rejected okay if it is like approved we are going to send the notification as well after sending the notification when it, when it is done okay then what will happen we are going to create the sc task over here okay after sc task they are going to work on the sc task and finally they are going to close the ticket okay that is like an end okay if it is like rejected as well we are going to close the ticket okay this kind of uh, in flow will not be work out okay i'll show you actually uh, this is what uh, the approved flow and then rejected flow as well both the things i'm going to show you okay here it is like a checked out by me right so uh, if here i can if it is like checked out by me and i'm going to attach the same workflow in my catalog item it won't work out okay unless if i click on a publish okay i'm going to publish this one if i publish only i can use this catalog item in my sorry use this workflow in my catalog item okay let me go to catalog item which i have created yesterday i'm going to attach this uh, workflow to that uh, catalog item okay so yesterday we did like uh, what we created hp laptop right hp hp laptop which we created yesterday just click on this and there we have like a process engine section. Okay, see here. Here we have like a process engine section. So execution plan or else workflow. Okay, in workflow, I'm going to give the workflow over here. See here, what is the workflow which I have created? Workflow example, right? Workflow testing, sorry. Workflow testing. Okay, this is what I'm going to attach this over here. Okay, I'm going to save this one. Then what will happen? I'm going to raise uh, one request with this uh, specific catalog item. Okay, so let me go to the portal. Let us let us let let, me, let assume that I'm the end user, which I'm going to order something from the portal. Okay, so to navigating, we are going to use the SP, service portal. Okay, servicenow.com, SP. Okay, let me request, uh, click on request something. So here only we can get the catalog items. Okay, so now yesterday we created like an HP laptop. Let me open that HP laptop catalog item. So see here, this is what we, we have created yesterday, right? So let me order this one. Let me request the thing. Okay, so let me give the information here. So manager, any of the one which I'm going, yes, mm, today, okay, order now. Okay, now I'll get like a confirmation who is who is a requester for my name only, okay, check out. Who need this one? I need that, okay. Now I'll get the request record. It's like a request number. See here, I got like a request number. Okay, now what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to approve one record, I'm going to reject one record and I need to show you the flow, how it will look like in a workflow. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go for the record and I'll search for the record and I'll go into the RATM now. So this is the record, see, uh, this is what I open this and for uh, rip approval. So this is already approved for request item, but not for the request record, not for the request item record. Okay, let me open this. The item is like HP laptop, right? So now see the state is like open now. Okay, and the stage is like waiting for approval, right? So this is not approved yet. Let me come down. See, this, these are the variables actually, which we are going to see in a service portal. Okay, this is the information which I have given in the portal. Okay, that is the exact information which we can get actually. And uh, moreover, uh, this is like an RATM number and uh, be below that I have like a request as well. Okay, now, so request is nothing but the first thing which we have ordered, right? So at the time we got like a request number. Okay, if I go down here, I have like an approvals. So Adela Carbanza is the approval for this. Okay, let me open this one and approve this one. Okay, let me save this. What I did now, I approved the request now. Okay, see approved was requested now. Let me refresh this again. And what will happen? See, this is like approved and immediately after approving, one SC task is generated. This is what our 
requirement right so after approving okay i'll show you the notifications as well don't worry okay so after i upload this one okay immediately after approving in our uh, workflow what we did after approving we are going to set this to approval and immediately notifications should, should go and after sc task should be generated so this is done right so we can see that as one catalog item is like generated okay see this is the demo group which i have given and short description is like a create sc task this is what i have given in the short description right and then group approvals also i have because i have given a group approval in a activity so this is like an approval approval is like a group approval okay so let me open the sc task oh, and then what will happen so the service provider team will work on sc task and they're going to close the task okay when this is like closed okay then this will be like ended okay this is what one of the flow which you have done okay i'll show you this flow how it will went okay so let me in RATM. so see here show workflow okay if i click on show workflow what will happen it will show the uh, flow which is happened for this specific record okay see here the blue thing is the flow which we have done actually so uh, this is what the begin we as uh, RATM is like created see all the information which we can see in the down thing down uh it's like in uh, this note actually so activity is like begin name is like begin uh state is like a finish started ended everything okay after creating the ratm what approval was went okay this is like approved so the transaction is like an in blue color sky blue color which is showing again we are going to set the value as this thing okay this is approved right i, I approved this one okay so this is what the flow which i'm going to show you okay and again notification thing notification is done and later we have created the sc task finally this is done and then later end it okay so here uh this is not closed right so here uh what we just need to do is like if i close the ticket okay after working on this okay then what will happen this will be like closed okay then uh this will be ended let me show you the notification whether whether notifications is triggered no, uh, or not for the demo group guys so see one minute ago notifications was triggered so in emails only we can get the notifications let me open one and we'll show you the preview template now okay in preview template i'm going to give the what is the information which i have provided over there okay there is like a demo group thing so something like which is maybe there is no users for this demo group i i think so normally the information okay the content which you have provided in the notification okay that will be available here okay that specific information will be triggered to the end user okay see here uh, this is what actually so this is what actually so your request is approved and catalog task has been assigned to the group demo group okay this is what we need to check it actually okay so let me open all these things we'll show you that one preview html template here we can get the stuff see here hi your request is approved and below information of the details okay comments are workflow notes there are no comments for the field actually empty that is what we are not getting this information request is nothing but this is what okay so this is the notification also we have triggered so this is also worked working see uh, uh, are you observing that four minutes ago this uh, notification was generated see four minutes ago and this is like five minutes ago all these things okay so let me go here as well and we'll open any of the thing so this is what not the uh, correct one this is one this one yeah so if i click on the preview html i'll get a, another notification over here see short description assignment group assigned to all these things okay created here with the this sc task so zero zero one two okay see this is the sc task actually okay we are we have created we have triggered notifications as well okay now this flow is done for the upload now the remaining thing is like what if, what if it is rejected okay i'll generate one more thing as well okay let me close all these things up to here okay so what i'll do i'll write arise one more ticket one one more it's like not ticket actually here uh, i'll i'll order one more laptop